I want you to know, I've given this a lot of thought. I'm sorry, but we, uh, we have to break up. No. <laughs> What's that? We're not breaking up. We're not? No. All right. It's a strong box to protect my irreplaceables. And what would those be? Some taxidermy that's been in my family for generations. My Tony, my military discharge. You were in the army? Briefly. Ah, I gotta find a good place to hide this key. You mind if I hide this somewhere? No, go ahead. A little privacy, huh? Oh, come on. Oh. Come on, Jerry. This is a security issue. Well, you wouldn't last a day in the Army. How long did you last? Well, that's classified. <laughs> you, Pete! This is your hiding place? <laughs> it was under a spoon. She said no? She said no. What did you do? What could I do? We fooled around and went to a movie. Let me hear your arguments. Well, I don't really like her. That's good. I don't find her attractive. Solid. I'd like to sleep with a lot of other women. Always popular. Sometimes at restaurants, she talks to her food. Ooh, Mr. Mashed Potatoes, you are so good. You have an airtight case. And in bed... I'm we... afraid we're out of time. And so, for all these reasons, we are officially broken up. Thank you. And good night. No, George, we're not. <laughs> but I broke! I refuse to give up on this relationship. It's like launching missiles from a submarine. Both of us have to turn our keys. <laughs> well, then I am gonna have to ask you to turn your key. I'm sorry, George, I can't do that. I believe this belongs to you. Maura, what are you doing here? I ended this relationship twice. George, you didn't mean that. That was just a fight. Why does it always seem like I'm the only one working at this breakup? George, I listened to your arguments, and they were rambling and flimsy. I'm not convinced. Come on, get dressed and let's get some dinner. All right. And maybe this cheating thing is what I could use to ditch Maura. Sure, just tell Maura you're having an affair. She's like a district attorney. If it's not the truth, I'll break under the cross. I actually have to do it. The key problem is solved. I hid it at Phil's. He let you? No, he doesn't know. See, I hid it without telling him. So, uh, Phil won't be compulsively looking for it like some people. <laughs> you. Here we are. <laughs> George, I've always fantasized about jumping into bed with you. What? I don't want to spoil things by sleeping with you too soon. Oh, not in my building. And I won't take no for an answer. No? No. Oh, I'm caught in my own web of lies! I'm Laura. I'm Loretta. You want to join us? This is all blowing up in my face! George, what we have is too important. We can work through this. So can we. So this is still not over? No. You? No. <laughs> All right. We'll stop by Phil's. We'll pick up the key, huh? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Fredo is dead. They told us he was poisoned. Something in his food. You know, it's a, it's a funny thing about that bird dying. I hid the key in Fredo's food dish. Whew, that's a weird coincidence. Right. You killed Fredo! Fredo was weak and stupid. He shouldn't have eaten that key. 